Hi Dresser Cutie, Winnie here. Today we're going to be drawing young Patrick from Spongebob Squarepants. So let's get started. To draw cute Patrick, let's first start by drawing his eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw two really big ovals that are stuck together. And one right next to it. There. Then let's come inside and we're going to draw two more ovals closer to the center. And this is much bigger because he is young, Patrick, so we want to make him have bigger eyes to make him extra cute. And I'm going to come in here with a highlight and shade everything else in. And same thing over here. Okay, so now we have his eyes in. Let's come uh, to the bottom. We're going to draw his mouth. So before I start his mouth, I'm going to come to this um, part right here and draw a curve for his cheek. Okay, connects to the eye and comes out. So same thing here, touches the eye and comes out. So this is going to be where I'm going to put this curve. So about right here and here, it's going to end. Just bring this big curve right across for his big smile and connect. And then let's widen this smile right here. So I'm going to come down with a deeper curve all the way down and back up. There, very, very happy Patrick, right? <laughs> he always brings a smile to my day. So then let's come inside here for some details. We're going to draw that one big tooth in the center and then his tongue. So nicely in the center about right here. We'll go ahead and draw two curves for his tongue. And that is pretty much it, except underneath here, I'm just going to lightly draw a curve right underneath. And so then now we can go ahead and draw his head. So come to the top of where you start his eye, come out a little bit, not too much. And we're going to start to draw this that conish uh, shape head that he has. So about right there, I'm going to start to slant down a slight angle. So same thing over here, about right here. Just get wider as you come down. And before we uh, draw the rest of that part, let's come back up here and let's bring this up a little bit more. So come up a little bit space. I'm going to come about right here and draw his eyebrow. Zigzag, come out, and zigzag. I just want to get his eyebrows drawn so I make sure approximately where to put his hat. Okay, have his eyebrows. So now we can bring this curve up higher. And right there, I'm going to go ahead and curve right over his eyebrows to start his cap. So let's round it. Right here, round it up. And we're going to draw this big curve right over his head. And in the center, let's add a little curve right here. And then for some details, let's come to the side about right here. I'm going to draw a buckle. Bring out a strap. Strap right here, and about in this area, I'm going to draw a big curve all the way around that's nicely centered to about right here. Will end, and then you have his cap in. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little bit more angular, angular right here, so it's not too round. 
there much better tuck this in and then at the bottom right here I'm just going to add up the lip of his cap so I'm just going to bring in a curve right there okay so then now we can go ahead and draw the rest of his head I'm going to bring this down more so I'll bring it down to let's say about the same level as where the mouth is right there and I'm going to draw a curve so now these two points are pretty even I'm going to draw a curve right underneath so a nice big curve all the way underneath this mouth and come right back up now we're going to start to draw his outfit so let's pop this part out this is his neck kerchief tie thing <laughs> so we're going to draw a little curve and before we finish that let's come back to the center and we're going to draw this curve right here right in the center and we're going to pop out the tie so it's basically kind of like two leaves that pop out and some details two curves in there and then his collar we're going to pop it out about right here so same thing right here go up and then now we can go ahead and finish this curve and bring it right back in there okay so then now we can go ahead and draw his body so I'm just continuing this curve imagine it coming out same thing over here and we're going to make this part nice and brown and big so I'll bring this down imagine his shirt and I'm just going to go ahead and make this nice and brown and, and bring it in right here Go right there and connect okay <laughs> it's a weird shape right okay so then from there let's come to the bottom and we're going to nicely center before I draw in all the details I'll say about right here and here you can go ahead and draw his pants and connect so angle it a little bit right here and connect and then his feet so right here is two just two steps right and connect and same thing here just slight angle and connect with a curve okay so then let's come back up and draw his hand so right here in this area you've created I'm just gonna come out with a curve bring it in and draw his hand in so same thing here pop this out and I'll just bring this across so I know approximately that I'm in this, about the same size and once again same thing for the hands there and then go add some details right here for cuff for his sleeves okay so then now for the details in here um i'm going to come to say about right here give myself a point i'm going to go right across and do the same thing and that is basically where I'm going to start to curve right underneath his neckerchief and come right across for his shirt and then coming back to the same point I'm just going to do the opposite I'm going to come right across and come right back up for his pants there so I left a nice gap for his tummy and let's uh, draw some details now so 
Looked right in the center, we're going to draw his little belly button. Curve and then the center. And then let's draw some details here on his pants. I'm basically just going to follow the top curve. And then for some pattern, I'm just going to wobble this three leaf shape right here. Some here. And then the top he has, let's see here. Let's draw his badges. So right here, we're going to draw a big one. So a nice big circle and then two smaller ones right here on the top. And one more over here. So these are so small, they can't really put much detail in them. So in the center one, I'm definitely going to put a heart. And let's see here, maybe just put like a cross on this one. It's so small. Triangle on this one, just like the spon young SpongeBob that I did. Uh, let's see here, just another circle then. Make it nice and simple. <laughs> okay, so that is pretty much it. I hope I didn't forget anything, but I hope you love uh, young Patrick here just as much as my young SpongeBob that I drew um, not too long ago. Thanks so much for watching, and I really hope you had fun and I made it easy for you to follow along with me. Make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.